With the actual uh, material, there's a scene provided that you can already load and use as uh, to actually play with this uh, with this scene. It's called uh, Render Tree UV Perturbation Production Example Done. Uh, this uh, this thing has already uh, pre-rendered plates and and will use the effects tree to actually render it. So if we take a look at the at the actual uh, actual rendered uh, wipe shot so you could see that the actual texture uh, swims over the surface very like no seams uh, continuous textures and goes from from basically black uh, white to black um, now what we need to do is is actually go and take this let's say this very simple dull car to very reflective car and actually use this to reveal uh, the other one while uh, while actually uh, adding some effects to it. So the very first thing that needs to be done here is to actually to uh, create some kind of a mask uh, to uh, to actually just extract a por portion of the actual uh, uh, color such that it will start from a dull state to a very reflective state. So well I've used a matte composite that can be found right here to actually do this uh, this thing and I'm just using a screen mode to get this effect. Uh, the second level is I'm adding some sort of a glow effect here to be able to get this this very bright and shiny uh, thing and obviously you can adjust it to the the actual level that uh, that is needed uh, so it's really uh, like graininess for example can be removed less likely and uh, we'll take this image right now if we take a look at this and look at the alpha the alpha is white obviously if I connect this right there to the uh, to the masking uh, uh, the mask input for the override then the mask expect uh, is actually looking up at the alpha channel so obviously you you won't get any any uh, of the effects so I'm using a pixel parser the pixel parser can be found under the uh, color uh, adjust and you can find it right here pixel parser if you open it what I did is I just simply said okay give me the R component the red component as the uh, as the output so if I take a look at this and look at the uh, uh, the actual alpha and obviously I get this uh, this effect right here and now what I do is, is I take this and basically overlay this uh, this rendered uh, images so I can actually go right here and actually start to reveal the shiny car just using this mat and that's uh, that's a quick way actually to use the effects tree and the the uh, spatial texture projection with uh, UV perturbation to create very fancy uh, wipe effect in 3D